Hi guys, Cassie here from CassFit. We are going to say hello to our abs. They are there, they are under there. We've got to get them moving. Okay, stretch yourself out. Lay down a mat or a towel. Stretch on out. Stretch from fingertips to toes. Deep breath. Hug both knees into the chest. Keep one knee into the chest, lengthen the other leg along the ground. Keep holding and switch. Lengthen the other leg, tuck the knee in, hug it in. And swap. Lengthening out and swap. Both knees into the chest. Hands on the knees. Let's just make small little circles on our lower back. Just loosening up. We've been doing a lot of sitting. Stop, reverse, back the other way. Small little circles with our knees on our lower back. Well done, we're a little bit more limber now. Okay, bend the knees, hands behind the head. Imagine there's a piece of fruit under your chin that you don't want to squash. Keep that chin off the chest. No chins tucked and elbows back, not by the ears. Let's do a single crunch. Up and down. The number to remember in this workout is 12. 12 reps. 12 reps of everything. Elbows back. Do a little hold and squeeze at the top before you lower down. hold here, looking up at the roof, keep holding and squeezing, holding and squeezing, back down, legs up at a 90 degree angle, back to our crunches, 12 reps, up and down, stack those knees over your hips, if you need to, you can have the feet down. With those abs are definitely saying hello to us now. They're starting to switch on. Elbows pinned back, chin off the chest. Those knees stacked over the hips. Hold and reach and lift. Breathe. And lower down. Okay, take your hands under your hips. Legs up. We're going to tuck the knees. Tuck the knees in. Press out. Tuck the knees in. Press out. Now. The higher you do this, the easier it is. The lower you lengthen the legs out, the harder it is. So you choose your level. One leg can also be bent and down on the ground and you can work one side at a time. Remember we're doing 12 repetitions. Tuck and press. You can take the legs higher or lower.
four, three, two, one. Hold the legs out where you can. That might be up here. That might be down here. Lift the head, the neck, the shoulders up off. Hold, hold, hold where you can. Try and lengthen out those legs. Can you drop them a little lower? Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. And lower down. Have a breather. Okay, now we're going to straighten out our legs. Just a little gap between them. Hands overhead. We're gonna do a straight legged sit up. So sit up, touch the floor, touch the legs, touch the feet, wherever you'd like. Slowly roll back down. Up, touch, back down. Up, touch, back down. You can slow it right down. You can bend the knees up if you need to. Try and do the straight legged sit ups. You don't have to do them quick paced. You actually work harder if you control it and slow it down. Feel yourself up, touch, and the downward phase is the hardest part. Slow, 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 slow down. A few more, get to your 12, count it for yourself. Slow roll down, slow roll down, touch. Let's do four more, four. It's complicated, it always is. This is the way it goes. Two. It's not the way it is. So long for that. I wonder Up. if it's up. Take it down. Head underwater. Now I can lift it up one more time. So Round your back. Lean forward. Lean back, lean back, lean back. Till that point of tension for yourself. Shoulders shrug down, arms stretched. Breathe through it. And release, well done. A little stretch. Okay, lying all the way back. Hands under the hips again, for the butt. Legs up. And now we're going to be doing our alternating leg drops. One at a time. Up and down. This is where you should choose how low you go. The higher you keep the leg, the easier it's going to be. You can also bend the knee and tap the heel down for lower option. You can also take one foot down and work on one side at a time. Okay, work to your level. In your lounge room, at your house, no one's watching. Down and up, extend the leg down and out. As much as you can, as low as you can. Some little flutter kicks, flutter, flutter, flutter. My elbows are lifted, sorry, my shoulders are lifted, head and necks lifted, doing some little flutter kicks. Now they could be up here or they could be lower. Four, three, two, one, relax. Take those hands out, give them a shake. 
deep breath. Okay, hands by our side. We're gonna do some bridges together. So that's raising the hips up high, squeezing the glutes, slowly back down. Up and down. Up and down. Really pull your heels back towards your butt. You wanna get those hips lifted high in a nice straight alignment from knees down to head. Pin those shoulders in the floor. As soon as you feel that butt touching down, raise straight back up. Give it a good squeeze at the top. Five. Four, three, two, one. Hold up and pulse. Pulse at the very top, little squeezes and clenches. Pulsing away, keeping the hips high, not sagging down. Four, three, two, one. Release down. Deep. Hands behind head. Legs up at a 90 degree, so stack the knees over the hips. We're going to cross one elbow over to the opposite knee. Cross, back down, stay on that side. Cross and down. Really crunch and squeeze right in the middle there. Ring out the sponge. Squeeze, drop down. Squeeze, drop down. Twelve each side. Count to your twelve at your pace. Two. One. Swapping sides. Cross over. Tap down. Cross. Tap down. Cross, tap down, cross, tap down. Lower option here, of course, is the feet down. And you can still do the rotational movement of elbow over towards knee. Counting yourself to 12. switches. Hands behind head, legs up. As elbow crosses over towards the knee, we extend the other leg out and switch. And switch. Now you can take this nice and slow or you can do a nice quick pace. to do some Russian twists. Hands together. Ankles pinned down. Lean back to that tight point of tension for yourself. Rotate, center, other side. Rotate, center. Touch, center. Touch, center. Rotate, center. Rotate, center. Four, three, two, one. Well done. Round the back. Have a little stretch. Deep breath. Rolling all the way back down. Hands behind head. going to go three, two, reach and down. Three, two, reach, 
down. Now, if you've got any neck issues, you don't have to release the hands. You can keep those hands behind the head the whole time. Otherwise, it's three, two, reach and down. Getting higher, higher, higher each time. Squeeze, squeeze, lift and down. Three, two, reach and down. Three, two, reach, down. Get yourself up higher and higher each time. Count to 12. Three, two, reach, down. Three, two, reach, down. Three, two, reach. Two more with me. Three, two, reach, down. Three, two, reach, down. Well done. We've got one last set of movements. So, one foot crossed over knee, hands behind head. We're gonna try and close the gap between that elbow and knee. Can you touch the elbow onto the knee? Don't bring the knee over to the elbow. Use the abdominals, the side oblique, the waist. Keep pinning that knee open. Do not bring the knee to the elbow. That's cheating. I'm not doing this. Open it out wide. Rotate your body across. Four, three, two, one. Keep crossed over. Simply raise that back leg. Um, arms down beside you. You're gonna do some little reverse curls. Keeping that knee open wide, pinned back. It's a little rock and swing that really gets into the lower abdominals. Count yourself to 12. Don't rush it too much. Squeeze at the top there. Four, three, two, one. Lower down. Cross over the other way. Open that knee out wide. Hands behind head. Let's cross over 12 times. Elbow to knee. Use your breath. Exhale on the way. Over with the elbow. Inhale, exhale. My other elbow stays firmly on the ground so I can really lift, twist, rotate. Count to 12, pin those elbows back, look up at the ceiling. Four, three, two, one. Lift that behind leg. Let's go. Our little reverse curl rocks. Pin that knee up. Rock up and squeeze down. Up and squeeze down. Up and squeeze down. Oh, really squeezing the tummy like a sponge, wringing it all out. Breathing. Five, four, three, two, one. Relax. Roll over onto your tummy. Oh, let's have a nice ab stretch. Stretch out nice and long firstly. Fold your head and neck down. Stretch out. Drag your hands back in. A little bit of an arch up. Looking up. Keeping the hips pinned down. Slowly down. 
Let's arch up again, trying to get ourselves a little bit higher. Can you lift the ribs off slightly? Slowly down. Slowly up. Exhale. And release. Well done, guys. A little bit of an ab burnout. Thanks so much for joining me. We've all got 10 minutes in our day, no matter how busy we are. Get down on the ground, make yourself feel better. Please like and share CasFit. Bye for now.